everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got another rock star project for you um, using the adorable rock star bundle from Stampin' Up's 2024 Spring Mini Catalog. I have been loving playing with this. Um, I've got five projects total, so if you're looking for more ideas, make sure you go back, visit my blog. The link is down in the description. Okay, so my daughter is a musician, my youngest. She plays lots of instruments, one being an electric guitar, and one of the things she wanted for Christmas was an amp to plug her guitar into. So I thought, you know what? Let's make an amp box to go with our guitar. Um, inside is one of Bath & Body Works masculine hand sanitizers. They have a lot of masculine scent, so I thought, you know, one that was kind of silver, platinum colored would be really cool with this box. So that's what I designed the box for, but it would hold Hershey Kisses or nuggets or whatever else you wanted to put in it. Okay, let's start by making our box. I'm going to bring over my cut and emboss machine. You're going to need a piece of basic black that measures five and a half by six and a half. On the, long, on the long side, you're going to score it at two, three, five, and six. Turn it to the short side and score it at half an inch, one and a half, and four and a half. All right. Now grab a bone folder and burnish those lines. Okay. Burnishing your lines with your bone folder just gives you a really crisp um, fold and it's gonna make your box square and hold together pretty well. All right, so you'll see you've got this half inch tab over here on the right side. The first thing that we're gonna do is cut off this rectangle and these two right here as well. Okay, this is gonna be the, the little, um, tab that we glue to the other side. Now notice I'm cutting in at an angle. You're going to want to cut in at an angle there. All right, now down here at the bottom, we're just going to cut these apart like this. And on these square tabs, just cut the corners. Okay, that's going to help in case you cut which I normally do, <laughs> too far out of your score line, that will help. Okay, so now on this end, we're gonna cut these two off right here. Okay, so carefully go across and then cut. All right, now we these two flaps, this square and this square are gonna be the two flaps that fold in on the, at the top of your box. So we're gonna leave those, but we wanna cut this rectangle off. So we're gonna kinda do two things at once. Cut all the way in, and then cut off that little rectangle right there. Okay, repeat over here. And cut off. All right, the last thing I want you to do is cut the corners right here all right now this is what your piece looks like if you want to i guess maybe i should turn it this way because the half inch tab was over here where we started if you need to pause the video to take a look while you're cutting yours all right there's one other thing we're going to do and we're going to create a little finger notch right here grab one of your small circle punches and just punch a, a little notch there i just use my half inch circle but any size really will work all right we're going to use, let's see, what do I have over here? The tear and tape is missing. So let's just use our stamp and seal. I'm gonna add stamp and seal right here on that tab. Fold in, fold over. And there's your box. Easy, right? Fold those side tabs in. Um, you've got rounded edges, right? So I kind of designed this box so the opening is on the back side. I know that seems weird, but I wanted the rounded edges to all be where the amp part is. So it actually does open backwards, okay? So this is the back side. So fold in these sides, then fold in the back side, and then fold the front flap in. 
like that, okay? And then we'll put in our hand, hand sanitizer. Those are the little flaps that fold in. And then this guy goes right here. And there's your box. All right, let's talk about how I created this. We're gonna stamp our guitar. To create these little dots here, we're actually gonna use the pegboard die from the trusty tool set. All right, so I'm gonna get that. But uh, let's go ahead and get our um, guitar ready. So we only have to bring over our cut and emboss machine one time. Okay, let's stamp the guitar in memento black. We're stamping it in memento because we are coloring it with alcohol markers. So we want it, the inks not to smear or run together. You wanna to use a water-based ink and then with your alcohol markers. All right, color in your guitar. Um, I'm using real red. My daughter's amp is red and gray, so I just kind of went with that. I am using the brush tip end of my marker, which I don't usually use, but I have a new set of real red markers. And when they're new, I feel like the, the tip works. You know, you haven't worn it down yet and it's pretty good. Otherwise I get out of the lines with that brush end. Okay, now go back with your dark and I'm just gonna put a shadow line around that white part. I definitely don't know the parts of a guitar, so if that has a name, I don't know it. All right, then I'm just gonna kind of take my, my light, my brush end, and just kind of blend these colors down like this. All right. Okay, now another thing to make your guitar really cool Take your wink of Stella and brush. All right, now we're ready to cut it out. Let's bring over the boss machine. And I am going to use some post-it tape to hold my guitar die in place. So it doesn't slip around. Get it framed perfectly. You need to look at the top and the bottom. Make sure you've got it framed perfectly. And then we're gonna take this piece right here and I'm gonna set it down right at the edge so that those circles are gonna be on there perfectly, okay? And let's see, I think I'm gonna leave it up like that so I can make sure that it doesn't slip. All right, let's run that through carefully. Set your top plate down and run it through. All right, let's check it out. There we go. There's our little, our little top or uh, speaker part of the amp. And I will get my piercer and just Poke those little babies out like that. And I'm gonna get my liquid glue and little tiny dots, just little, come on, little tiny dots. You don't want glue smooshing out between your, your dots when you set it down. Um, I'm just kind of squeezing a little dot and then spreading it down. Okay, like that. And then we'll put that right down on the bottom. Hold it for a second. Um, I also have a little piece of real red that we're gonna put right here. Now, one thing you wanna do before your glue dries is to take the silver, um, trim and stick it down in there okay you can also stick a glue dot on there to make sure it stays in okay now we're going to get our guitar and 
we're gonna tape, well, I don't have any tape, we'll use a dimensional. We're gonna tape that little plug, that little wire to the back. And I'm just gonna use a dimensional to do that. Okay. And we wanna trim that off like that. Let's get a couple more dimensionals. Like that. Okay, and we'll set that down there on the side. All right, now if your little wire doesn't wanna stay in place, what I do is I get a glue dot and I'm gonna roll it so it's real skinny. Just kind of fold it over itself to make like a little skinny um, blob, if you will. And if I can get it on there. Okay, come on, glue dot. There we go. Then you can stick this right on there and it'll stay in place like that. Cool. I showed this to my daughter after I made it and she's 15. It's very hard to impress a 15 year old. I will tell you, she was impressed. I got a bunch of OMGs in the text. I was very excited. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna use these two words, you rock. So I've gotta take my post-it tape and really get good with my um, masking because I wanna mask away that apostrophe where it says your, because I just want it to say you. So get your post-it tape. That's really the only place because the other pieces you can really just cut away. All right, so now we'll take our memento. Get it nice and inked up. All right, and then remove your tape and let's stamp it right here on this scrap. Hopefully I have enough room. Let's see, yeah, okay. So, ooh, you're like, that doesn't look good, but don't worry because all we're gonna do is just cut it like two little rectangles. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, U, and then down here. You rock, and cut off all that extra, like that. See, now all you see is U and rock, and we'll get our many dimensionals for these guys and we've got one two three peel off that backing you can also put that kind of over that too to hold it in place you rock so i'm going to do it kind of crooked i kind of like it crooked all right now last but not least we got those little buttons across the top of the amp the dials these are our festive pearls i'm just going to use these tiny little um silver pearls and i'm going to need to spread them out you might have to play with them a little bit to get them straight oh that one's a little down low and one more and there you have a pretty cool treat box it has a little hand sanitizer if you've got some cool teenagers in your life or tweens or maybe some dudes who aren't ever impressed this box will impress them i promise okay you guys make sure you click the link here on youtube go back to my blog check out the free pdf i have with measurement supplies and two other uh, rock and roll projects. All right, you guys, have fun stamping. Bye-bye.